Hi, my name is Hal Gumbert with Camp Software, and I'd like to show you our surgery procedure log. This layout is the home layout, and it contains a lot of elements that are cons consistent throughout the entire database. At the very top, you'll see the top bar. It'll contain the name of the module that we're currently in, any back buttons, forward buttons, or buttons that perform an action. The large section is the work area where most of the field entry and such are done. At the bottom we have a navigation bar where you can jump from module to module. And at the very bottom we have the FileMaker status bar where you can manually switch between layouts, uh, navigate between records, add or delete records, and finally omit, sort, and perform finds. So we'll start off by going into procedures. That will take us into the procedure list. We'll tap a procedure and it'll take us into the detail. At the top of this layout we have some general identifiers for the patient, nothing specific. And the first tab we come to is the surgical tab where we can enter in information about the surgery, any outcomes, the surgical room time, and the actual surgical procedure time. So some of the fields that are specific kinds of fields, such as dates, have pop-ups. So you can set the dates using the iPads interface. Other fields that where you might reoccur, use the same data over and over, have value lists as well that use the values that have been previously entered. And also anything that has uh, like yes, no's have pop-up list as well. For the surgical room and time, it'll bring up a timestamp pop-up, so you can choose a particular date and time. The next tab, uh, Surgeons and Notes, uh, gives you a list of those items. So for instance with surgeons we can add a surgeon by hitting plus and it'll let us choose from a list of the surgeons that we identified in that module. So we can add Ardith to this. And under notes we have the same kind of thing. For dates you can tap in and set a particular date or for a note type you get a list of types that have been previously used. We can add notes just as well. Procedures and diagnoses and procedures, we have a list of diagnoses, procedures, complications, and on the right hand side we have uh, the area for where the surgery was performed and some other information. Under diagnoses, we can hit the plus button. The plus button will give us a choice to do a free form entry in case there's not something that describes it exactly the way we need. So we'll just type in the word test. I can tap out of that. That saves that information and I can delete it by hitting the minus button and it'll say do you permanently want to delete this record? We'll say yes. In addition we can hit plus and we can add from a table of ICD-9s. When you touch the ICD-9 it'll bring us into the ICD-9 layout and let us do a search. I previously searched for knee but I could do arm and when I perform that search It'll go through and find us all of the ICD-9 codes that have whatever I searched for in it. So if I tap one of these, it will take that information and add it to our diagnosis log. If I tap out, you can see the entire layout. And to delete that item, I can delete it just as well. Under Procedures, I can hit the plus button and it works the exact same way but instead of choosing ICD-9s it'll let me choose between a CPT choose amongst the CPTs. Again I can do the same thing I can search for arm or whatever I would like. It'll provide, provide that search. Some of these you might not see the actual code in the description but the longer description, the long description will have that code in there. This has a work RVU and that can be changed just as well, just like any other value. So we'll delete this value. And finally we have an images tab. When we go to images we can add images 
Uh, right now, the way you would add an image in iPad would be to copy paste it from your library, or you could view one by clicking the chevron to the right. I can go to the next one and see these images. I can also zoom in to see specifics about these. I'll go back. I didn't show this earlier, but the same thing occurs with notes. If we go to notes, I can click the chevron and see the detail about a particular note. I'll go back. As for the surgeons, if we touch the surgeons module, this brings up a list of the surgeons that we have. And right now we're storing their type and their name, so you can create as many of these as you like. Under ICD-9s, we have a list of 16,000 ICD-9 codes. When you're looking at these um, and you tap them, you can see the code, the description, the full description. And if we switch to CPT, we have something very, fam very similar where we have the code, the work RVU value, and the description. When we click into that, we can see the CPT code, the description, and the full description. The reason earlier when we did a search for ARM, the, while the, de the short description did not have it, the long description did. Back on home, if I click settings, this takes us into our settings module. Right now we don't have any general settings, but these will be added. Most of these will be related to registration and your name and address. Under migration, uh, this if you're running this on FileMaker desktop, you will be able to migrate this database from version to version as we release updates. The modules area is how we control the status bar at the bottom. If you need to add a new module, you could do it at any time. We have one module that's deactivated right now, the settings module. If I change this from no to yes and then tap out of that, it actually added a settings button at the bottom. We have two blank modules to slide all the modules over two entries. We have a total of nine that are visible. So by moving them over two, that accomplished centering them. So we'll disable the settings module again, which took it away from the bottom. And then finally, we have a developer settings, and most of these are interface elements that are used throughout the database. So please let us know what you think. Uh, we are definitely open for comments. And if you're interested in this database, please contact us. We are also open to customizing it for your needs. If you have additional features that you might need, uh, we can definitely add those in. Thanks, and have a great day.